Hello everyone, it's Brian from brightech.co.uk. I've got another tutorial here for you today on how to remove spyware, malware, viruses from your computer, Trojans and whatnot. Assuming that you can get to your desktop or get to your uh, safe mode facility. So basically, the first thing you need to do is get these programs here. These are the programs we're going to be using down here. These are the sites you can get them from and these are the sites we're going to be diagnosing stuff from as well so if you want to pause the screen and you can actually copy these URLs down and, and get these programs because you're going to need it if you want to get rid of them uh, spyware on your computer this is only a basic tutorial so let's get started first thing you want to do is restart your computer and you will come to this um, say, uh, restart your computer and type, tap F5 or F8 on your keyboard. If you tap F5 you'll go straight into safe mode without seeing this screen and if you tap F8 and you keep tapping it you'll come to this black screen here and you want to use your cursor keys and go up to safe mode. You can either go up to safe mode with a network which means with networking which means you're going to have the internet uh, available to you so if you want to do that option you can do especially if you want to update and stuff uh, update and whatnot so once we get to the uh, imagine that we are now in safe mode and basically um, uh, what you're going to see is a bit of a jerky screen and a bit pixelated that's because everything's been disabled at startup but don't worry about that that's pretty normal so the first thing you want to be doing is you want to be running uh, malware bytes so you open up malware bytes and then basically go to the update tab and click update and to get the latest definitions then you need to run full scan perform a full scan scan it will take some time but let it run right the way through and that should clean up a lot of the stuff write down some of the names of the files that you've got that are nasties so you know you can scan search for them on your PC to make sure they're all gone and get any remnants away, any remnants that's been left to delete manually because sometimes it leaves DLLs or whatnot, uh, gets rid of the main file. So that's a good way to check. So write down. Also, you're going to be needing those names to check up on the, on the internet to find out what they are. So that's that done. You need to go into safe, uh, Super Anti Spyware next and run this full scan your computer, full system scan again click on the updates first and do an update to make sure you've got the latest definitions select the drives you want to do it's normally C for Windows but if you want to do all of them fine it's going to take a bit longer to do perform a complete scan if you know a bit about computers and you want to do a custom scan and search a certain folder then this is your option but mainly I use this one so next that's that one done let that, let that run through that will take some time too and these two are free and they are pretty decent and they will get rid of some of the hard ones so the next thing you want to be looking at is running um, if you've got Vundu on there now Vundu is sometimes a separate program these will get rid of Vundu but you can use this separate Vundu fix which actually is a really good program to getting rid of Vundu there's different variations of it this is a free program. The guy spent a lot of time putting this together, so credit to him. And if you feel like donating, there's the button. Put push scan and then fix if you've got any left on your computer. Now, this is an option, so you might not have undo, so don't worry about it. Also, the next thing you want to do if your internet is not working and now you can use this option. Now, basically, this option is uh, for WinFix. WinSock fix. Basically, you just click on that and you push fix, and it will actually fix your WinSock and get your internet back up and running. Only use this program if your internet is actually bombed out and been corrupted by spyware or whatnot. Okay, so this gives you the opportunity to get back on the internet. Also, make sure you're completely clean before you do get back on the internet because you don't want to get reinfected if you've got remnants of still stuff downloading Trojans for you and whatnot. If you want to use the other one, this LSP fix, it's the same thing but a different company I think that make it and you can run that and get that um, socket fix so it helps repair and get you back up on the internet and whatnot. The next thing you want to do is if you are on the internet 
is do a full scan of your computer with an online scanner. Now basically this is what you want to use, Bitdefender, one of the best, um, and push scan and it will take some time. But as I said you do need to be on the internet to use this facility and this will get rid of all the other stuff as well. This will take some time but it's always best to use it rather than the one that's on your computer. The next thing you want to be thinking about is uh, going to start run MS config and taking out going to the startup tab and taking out anything that doesn't look right as in it might be uh, logon underscore xxx.exe something like that that's moody and you think oh that's dodgy take the tick out you can always do a search for it on this on this site here so get the name if you're not sure and if if it's spyware take the tick out anyway it doesn't matter you can always put it back and it will stop it booting up you can come to this site now this site is a great site for checking out your viruses and finding out what that's why I asked you to write them down so Vundu, click on there this will tell you roughly what it is it's a Trojan it's a 9 out of 10 it's really nasty and it's a backdoor takes control infects the PC and it's a backdoor jobby it's really nasty and you can actually explain what it means what it does you can click on the explain button okay this is a really good site and if it's not on there then it's probably not a spyware or if it is you can add it to the database next after you've done that you want to be running CC cleaner so once you've got your PC now nice and clean get rid of all the crap and shit off the PC so just double click on CC cleaner put all the ticks in down the bottom here click analyze and run cleaner and this will clean up all the remnants that's been left behind and all the temp files and all the prefetch files so basically the next thing you want to do after that is you want to run uh, a Bexo now once you get a Bexo basically back up you can back up this there's no point in case it's got infections in it so just clean your PC uh, your registry by clicking on that clicking on next and then click run and this will clean up all the uh, remnants and, and, and keys, registry keys that have been left behind and all the dodgy empty keys that you don't want anymore it cleans rid of, gets rid of all of those uninstalled that's been left behind gets rid of all that and it will help if you know how to do it manually by all means go in there manually and do it manually and search yourself the next thing you need to do as well is right click on my computer go properties a lot of people forget to do this one but it is important system restore put the tick in there to clean up all the restore points you don't want them on your computer anymore because they will be have infected files in them so click that click OK reboot the computer and come back and you can take the tick back out and it will make a new fresh restore point or you make a new fresh restore point and that makes sure that's all clean and the last and final thing is what you can do is run um, hijack this get on there oh, it's already running so run hijack this do a scan to save the log file and it will give you a log file now don't worry if you don't know how to read the log files I'm going to show you how to get away with that you actually come to this site now hijack this.de post the script in the, uh, the log file in there push analyze and it will tell you uh, roughly whether your PC is infected or what's got on it also this and this you can either upload the log file to and push analyze it's a great little site if you don't know what you're doing and basically it'll help you out um, if you do know what you're doing then you know better still but if you don't you'll have to use this option so now you've got no no reason to fear and no reason to get a technician in you can do it yourself it's not that difficult there is other ways of doing it you can use a USB with portable apps and come into safe mode and use portable apps if you feel that's what you want to do but I think we've covered just about everything and I hope this helps you out and gets your PC up and running and nice and clean ok my name's Brian from brightech.co.uk oh, losing my voice now where I've been rushing so much bye for now